Uh, good morning. I want to talk about winning trades and losing trades. I've uh, been trading for about eight years. I've seen a lot of traders have an obsession to have 100% of winning trades, which is just not possible. I mean, I want to be. I don't want to be the bearer of the bad news to some of you, but taking losses is being part of a job description of being a trader. Uh, let me explain. Even if you are right 50% of the time, and if you if you win two times of your risk, you will still be profitable. For example, let's say you take 10 trades, and you are 50% uh, 50 is win, and 50% is lose. However, your reward to risk is always 2 to 1, right? Two to one, which means for every hundred dollar you risk, you make two hundred dollars. Uh, so let's say if you have five trades, five winners. Um, okay, let's say reward two hundred and risk is a hundred. So let's say if you have five winners, um, right? If you have five winners, you will have a gain of 200 times 5 equal $1,000 and you have 5 losers and that would be 100 times 5 equals 500 bucks right so $1,000 profit and $500 loss so what you can see is your net profit is still going to be 500, right? So that's really important to understand. You don't have to have a 100% win rate. I mean, it's good to have an extremely high win rate, but also you have to understand how much loss you're going to take. Uh, loss is byproduct of the game. If losing trades offend you or upset your emotional chemistry, uh, and if you think that being wrong or failing is a problem, then you might want to reconsider if trading, if trading is going to be a viable product for you to do an investment or grow your money. Because trading, in trading, losing is going to happen no matter what you do, how smart you are. But if you are able to manage your risk, then you won't be able to, you won't blow up your account. And personally, I'm not offended by being wrong on a market call, right? If I say this is going to go up, because it doesn't go up, it's no big deal, right? If you can be wrong a multiple of times, but you just have to be right, right enough number of times to make the actual to be profitable. Uh, so once again, if losing trades and being wrong bothers you, then trading is not for you. And just like in life, I mean, failure is just part of life. It's after all failures, you reassess what happened, and only then you can have more success. Same thing with trading. Uh, so that's my two cents on winning trades and losing trades. Have a good one.